Vamos uh, assistir então ao Deep Rock Galactic uh, Season 2, uh, portanto, uma, um trailer narrado. Deixem lá ver as novidades. And welcome back for another DRG update. Season 2 Rival Escalation. Rival As the title escalation. implies, okay. our rivals are still going strong in their efforts to disrupt our mining operations. And in fact, they're escalating their efforts. But what does that mean for you, the loyal employees of Deep Rock Galactic? Este the cell is off, fish, a new warning is now active. Rival presence. Okay. Boards of rival robots are clustering in the caves, seemingly just waiting to spring on anything carrying the DRG insignia. Some will likely see this as a welcome distraction a from the usual team 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 of the Gladys. Gladys. But management still doesn't Também recommend underestimating the electronic abominations. Secondly, our rivals are setting up new communications equipment, which must be shut down. Mas quem é que são os rivals? Rival NPCs? Rival signal, season Ou outros jogadores? Must interrupt the operation of the rival communications router, Deve ser NPCs. Hack its antenna nodes before the timer runs out, and shut it down before the entire thing explodes. Timing and precision will be of the essence if you want to obtain the data cell stored inside the router. Ou seja, Lastly, vamos ser personagens a saber up new readings in the caves, and disturbing rumors have started trickling in from the surface. Our rivals have unleashed something down there, something specifically designed to lure you in, hunt you down and terminate you with extreme prejudice. Okay. Beware, Boss, miners. Isso. The rival nemesis is on the prowl. To counter the new challenges ahead of us, management has approved the next performance pass, and several things have been tweaked season and expanded on compared claro, to season one. Claro. By popular request, we have roughly doubled the amount of season event bonuses to collect by completing season events down in the caves. Also, we've added a brand new season challenge to the pool, paying out fat stacks of performance points and precious script. All of that, of course, results in rewards. Both for simply gaining levels in the performance pass. Pá, o meu único problema com este jogo é a preocupação do estúdio oferecer um, quantidade em vez de qualidade dos cenários. Aquilo que eu sentia era que os planetas uh, gerados aleatoriamente pareciam muito parecidos. Quer dizer, não havia. Uh, eu preferia ter fazer grind uh, como no Vermantind uma pessoa às tantas conhece os mapas sabe onde é que estão as cenas uh, e os cenários são realmente bonitos porque foram trabalhados à mão esta cena abstrata é pá, a justificação de que vais para um planeta faz um bocado de confusão porque depois temos este misto de, de grutas com, com lava com cenas muito parecidas os bichos também são um bocadinho um, sei lá podiam ser mais variados isto é o meu problema com o jogo uh, porque o conceito em si é, é bastante fixe. A cena do vai, tens um X tempo para ir buscar uh, as cenas, o máximo de riqueza possível. Uh, base do planeta, extrai uh, o que puderes. Não deixes ninguém para trás. Portanto, é, eu gosto muito deste. O Vermantine é a mesma coisa e, e, e outros jogos. Mas este faz-me um bocadinho de impressão por causa desta cena aleatória. Queria aqui uma repetição às tantas. Não sei se vocês sentem isso, se não. Mas pronto, é o que eu sinto. As well as spending script in the cosmetic tree. Cosmetic We got some tree. good stuff for you. Resource caches, beards, paint jobs, helmets, and yet another full set of weapon framework for all guns. So consider yourself warned. Season one is coming to an end soon. Spend those script if you got them, or they will be lost. And if you haven't managed to get through season one completely, have no fear. Any cosmetics you've yet to unlock? Sou só eu que sinto que estas armas parecem da... Como é que se chama aquela marca? De, das bolinhas? De, das esponjas? Da... Epá. Da Nerf? Não parecem as pistolas da, da Nerf? <risos> tipo... São iguaizinhas, meu. <risos> tipo... Podiam ser... <risos> Podiam ser as armas do, do tipo Rock Recalatic. Façam promoção, malta. Pá, and if só... you haven't managed helmets and yet another guys. full Olha set aí. of weapon framework for all guns. <risos> so consider yourself warned. Season 1 is coming to an end soon. Spend those script if you got them or they will be lost. And if you haven't managed to get through season 1 completely, have no fear. Any cosmetics you've yet to unlock will simply be moved into lost packs, cargo crates, matrix cores, and perhaps even the shop located on the space rig. Nothing goes away, 
and everything can still be obtained. All that aside, management is not sending you into handling these new threats empty-handed. To complement the four new primary weapons introduced in Season 1, Season 2 brings with it four new secondary weapons. The scout has picked up the Nishanka Bolt Shark X80, an extremely versatile crossbow designed for large armas. game, built especially to fire a wide selection of customized bolts. Acid bolts, electric bolts, fire bolts, triple bolts, you name it. It is time to go hunting. Meanwhile, the engineer has é come up with a sharp defractor. Das armas, to disso. keep it from detonating like a thousand pounds of TNT, the thing is limited to short controlled bursts. But don't let that depress you. It's powered by a 12 pound chunk of armor and heartstone and is able to vomit... Também tem que ser honesto uma coisa. A cena de ser uh, gráficos, um, os cenários... Uh, pré-renderizados uh, aleatoriamente uh, também dá uh, a possibilidade de improvisarmos de criarmos buracos e túneis pelo meio da montanha para irmos uh, para um sítio qualquer portanto há aqui este dupla, uh, duplo sentido portanto, esse aspecto está bem fixe uh, em termos mecânicos está fixe não se pode é ter tudo, obviamente não é? Vomit forth beams of raw energy as thick as your leg reducing anything in this path to a mound of cinders The gunner gets the arms core coil gun, a hand carryable fully fledged electromagnetic accelerator. It fires solid tungsten spheres with enough force to punch clean through solid rock. Armas. The only limit to this pocket sized war crime stories. is the battery pack, is é... sizable. And finally, the driller has been given the Colette wave cooker. An ingenious mix of lab equipment and kitchen utensil, the wave cooker does exactly what its name implies. Point it at something organic and watch it cook from the inside out until it bursts in a gout of viscous fluids. Recipe book not included. As always, these new weapons come with full upgrade trees, weapon frameworks and paint jobs to find, and around two dozen brand new weapon overclocks to uncover. Meanwhile, things are changing over in the shop. From now on, you can choose to pay for cosmetics <laughs> with phase instead of credits, in case you're saving up for specific upgrades. Phase Unite can be found in the caves of Hoxies as you go, and you will also earn it from the newly implemented cosmetic mastery system in the shop. Vou farmar credits para comprar um bigode novo. Epá. Increase your cosmetic yeah. mastery by buying stuff. And not to worry, shoppers, the system will work Vocês sabem quando a relação com os editores Everything you already bought will be counted towards your cosmetic mastery progression. Okay. For those dwarves returning unsuccessfully from missions, we have finally received a shipment of Não, medical gowns. Tá For the sake of overall Dancinhas morale novas. and sanity, we urge all employees to keep their underwear on when waking up in one of these. <laughs> and lastly, a new addition to the forge. Previously, Forge Mastery granted completely random infused matrix cores. Now you'll be given a choice. Two character classes are picked at random. You pick which of them gets the core. Some choice is better than no choice, as they say. As always, a new update also means a new pack of DLC. And this time we're presenting the Robot Rebellion Pack. Face our presses in the ragged remains of past glory, crudely cobbled together during those long nights spent on the space rig waiting for the next engagement. Management wishes you all safe, happy, and lucrative missions and cooperation, miners, and welcome to Season 2, Rival Escalation. This is Mission Control, signing off. Rock and Stone. Muito bem. Ainda não percebi quem é que são os rivais, são, são NPCs, obviamente. Aí, pessoal vestido de batas. Que abuso. Portanto, dia 28 de Abril. Ok. Uh, epá, eu gostei. Uh, não, não há novidades brutais, mas uh, gosto de ver este jogo evoluir. Eu espero que, eu espero que a malta da Ghost Ship continue. Uh, a bombar neste jogo, porque este jogo tem muito potencial. Uh, espero que tenha bosses e que tenha planetas uh, mais vastos. Uh, eu gosto, gosto bastante. Obviamente que há aqui muita, muito cosmético, season pass, aquelas coisas que já vemos normais no jogo, que se justifica ou não uh, comprar, uh, já não sei. Mas pronto, fica aqui então uh, pequena reação a este Rival Escalation para uma season 2 do Deep Rock 
Galactic.